Without clients, you don't have a freelancing business, you have a hobby. In this video, I'm going to discuss my top three ways on how you can get clients so that you can have more freedom and have a successful freelancing business. If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Kyle Prinsloo. I am a freelancer and educator helping others just like you earn a side or full-time income with freelancing. We'll get into the video right after this. Now let's get into it. There are hundreds of ways that you can get clients. Some of the ways include friends and family, Google ads, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, Twitter ads, radio ads, newspaper ads, podcast ads, building a brand on social media and a lot more. But that is not what this video is about. I'm only going to be discussing my top three ways. So here is what we will be covering. We have got SEO, we have got outreach, and we have got agencies. The outreach is going to be split into four, and that is cold email, that is cold outreach on social media, we've got Google Maps, and we have got Google Rankings. All right, let's start with SEO. If someone types in a targeted search term that can result in more clients for your freelancing business, you want your website to show up at the top of the Google rankings. Some examples of this are Editor X Developer, WordPress Developer in X City, Web Designer in X City, Web Design for X Niche, Marketing Agency in X City, Marketing Agency for X Niche, SEO for X Niche. These websites that you see ranking for these search terms basically get free clients every single month. But why? Because they were intentional about SEO. They created targeted landing pages for specific keywords. And it doesn't stop there. If your clients are local, you could create what's called a Google map. So SEO is a massive topic. I'm not going to go through the details of that. You can learn about SEO at seoblueprint.com as well as Brian Dean's blog. Next one is outreach. What do I mean by outreach? It is basically all the activities that you can do proactively to reach out to people in the hope that they will convert into a paying client. This includes cold email, cold outreach, Google map and Google rankings. Now cold email is a massive topic. It could even be a course by itself, but that is not my objective in this video. I'm going to give you an 80 20 overview on what you can do to get started. Quite simply, cold email is broken up into four sections. Number one, it starts with an email list of your leads. Number two, you email those leads. Number three, you convince the lead to become a client. Number four, the lead signs up to be a client or they do not. Leads, how do you find leads? I use a tool called findthatlead.com and in this tool you can search for things like business owners or physiotherapists, accountants, lawyers, whatever your niche is. The next tool is to automate your emails if that is what you want to do. To do this, I recommend Lemlist, that is what I use. This is a rough email template that you can use to send to your prospects. Just hit pause and read the email or I'll add it in the descriptions below. It's very important to create a follow-up sequence in your emails because that is often where a lot of freelancers miss out. You can learn more about cold email in Lemlist's free guide. Next is outreach and specifically when I'm referring to outreach, I'm talking about social media outreach. What do I mean by this exactly? you are reaching out to a prospective client on social media platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So here's a quick example. Let's say my niche is course creators. What I would do is I would give feedback on their landing page for free in the hope that they would see value in it and want to do further business with me or ask me further questions. So this is in fact exactly what I did with the prospective client. In fact, he actually wanted to thank me and send me a $500 tip but I actually declined. And what I did was six months later, I pitched him on marketing services for two and a half thousand dollars a month and he signed up. Why? Because it first started with the initial first message of adding value. Ideally, you want to be as personable as possible and build a relationship with your prospective clients before you eventually pitch them. But as a rough guideline, if you want to go for the pitch, you can send something like this. 
Again, as a quick side note, don't forget the follow up. All right, now we move on to one of my favorites and that is Google Maps Outreach. This is when you type in a search term on Google, for example, landscapers in X city, painters in X city, architects in X city, brick pavers in X city, tech installers in X city. Look at the Google Maps and if they have bad reviews or a low count of reviews, this is a great opportunity for you to pitch your services. As a general guideline message, this is what you could send. Last one on the outreach and that is Google Rankings Outreach. So it follows exactly the same principle and strategy as the Google Maps. You would type in a search term, look for websites that rank at the bottom of the first page or the second page. That is an opportunity for you to pitch them your services, to help them improve the SEO and maybe the overall website. And finally, the last of my top tips to get clients is agencies. It's actually a pretty simple one, but often overlooked. The reality is that many web design and marketing agencies are looking for freelancers to partner with when they have a lot of work coming in and they do not want to make the commitment to hiring someone full time. So this is a great opportunity for you to be the freelancer that they subcontract on various different projects. Now, very important, you need to have a good freelancing portfolio. On that topic, I talk about that in this video. So make sure that you check it out. Now, once you have a good freelancing portfolio, you can reach out to them with an email like this. All right, wrapping up a few key notes that you need to remember. Although outreach is a numbers game, it is important to qualify your leads. 100 qualified leads are way better than 1,000 random general cold leads. If you really want to convert a client, avoid the automation and build a relationship. And finally, do not give up so easily when you get a lot of no's and rejections. It is important to keep going because it really does get easier the more clients that you get. If you'd like more help and advice to grow your freelancing business, I've got a freelancing bundle that teaches you pricing, how to get clients, niching down, and a lot more. You can join over 5,000 other students and get my bundle on my website. All right, that's it from me, guys. I hope you found value in this video and I'll catch you in the next one.